This video is going to show you how to use some of the features in the advanced circuit gizmo from Explore Learning. I'll start by drawing part of the circuit right here. What I want to do is complete the circuits. I'll take a wire, just drag it from my component side, take a battery, drag it from the component side. You can see how it kind of fits in between the dots. I'll put it into place. If I push it down, plus sides on the bottom, if I push the battery up, plus sides on the top. If I want to change something, I can delete it by dragging it back in components. Or I can just take another resistor, for example, and drag it over here. So now I've got these resistors all linked up and a light bulb on the edge. So I can see how the circuit works. To take some measurements, current is one of the things I want to measure, and the current always flows through a device. So the current is measured with this device over here. It's called the amp meter. So it's in the components. That's our amp meter right there. So what I'll do is I'll take it and I'll put it someplace. So I'll drag it onto one of these dots right there. Now it's reading the current and I can see the current over here on this screen. It says voltmeter, amp meter, and ohm meter. So it's telling me that the amp meter is 0.15 amperes. So that's the current running through that piece. If I want to find the current somewhere else, I can take it and I can drag it somewhere else. I want to do that, it finds the current through that little piece, which happens to be the same in this case. I can also find the voltage across any component. So current runs through the components and voltage is measured across because it's always a change in potential energy. That's what the voltage is telling us. So I'll take a voltmeter and I'll grab the plus sign and I'll put that close to the positive side of the battery. So there's the positive side. And the negative side, I'll put away from it. Over there, so now I'm going from plus to minus. And I can see down here in my reading window, I can see what the volts are saying. 1.54 volts. So that's how much voltage is there. Now the ohm meter to use that, I have to take a device and I have to put it off to the side, out of the circuit, and put the ohm meter across, in this case, a resistor. And that will show the resistance of my resistor. And you can see that over here in the meter readings. There it is, 200 ohms. Now I knew it was 200 ohms because that's what I pulled it, pulled it from. And to get rid of it, I'll drag it back in components. So I'll just drag that back. And I can drag this. If I want to restart a drawing, one of the things I can do is I can hit the clear button, which is down here on the lower right hand side. So there's the clear button. I can also click this button over here to show the direction of the current. So I'll hit show current. And it'll show the conventional direction of the current. And that's the flow of positive charge from high to low energy. So that's showing it. And if, I had, if it has more current, the uh, little arrows will move faster. So I can visualize what's going on. I can also look at the engineering viewpoint, of what happens to electrons, but we'll always use the conventional viewpoint. If I click on the battery, I can adjust the battery voltage. The battery voltage is adjusted with the slider down here. So I can slide that up and down to adjust the battery voltage. take a picture of the screen, I could use this little camera button up here in the upper right hand corner. However, if I do that, it's going to put it on my clipboard, which if I'm putting something in Google Docs, that's not going to do me any good. I need to somehow make a file and put it on the computer. So I've got to use our usual means for taking a screenshot and not the ones that are built into here. And that's basically how to use the uh, tools for the advanced circuit gizmo.